Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I wanted to talk about a very controversial topic that's been the center of controversy in iOS for quite some time and that is the app switcher and quitting applications within the app switcher to get better performance from your iPhone. Does this really help? Does this really give your iPhone faster performance, better battery and overall improvements? Well, we're going to break that down in today's video and I want to give you guys the real backstory as in the reason why Apple doesn't have a quit or close all applications button within the app switcher. So let's begin with talking about, you know, native applications. Every single application and native applications in iOS, when you launch them and you close them, when you go back to them, you may notice that they're suspended sort of in the middle, right? So they go right back to where you left them and then it continues there and reloads the data. Now this goes for stock applications as well as third party applications. For example, let's say Twitter. So let's say I have Twitter open on my iPhone and I want to close it away and that's it right then and there the iPhone what it did is is it paused it it's frozen in the middle and when you go back to the application it doesn't necessarily have to load all the data it launches the application and it only loads the new content within that time frame that the application was closed when you go back to the application the application will be in the same state it will load up and then it will continue now a lot of people think that if you quit the application from running in the background and launch it again is actually improving the battery and performance but it's actually doing the opposite look at this it's actually loading the entire application from the background from the start which actually means is using number one more data more ram and more cpu and battery to reactivate or reload if you will the entire application in its entirety. Now that's one of the main reasons why Apple has in the past kind of addressed this and said the iPhone doesn't really need uh, a quit all application. So you don't really need to quit the applications from running in the background. The only reason you would have to quit an application from running in the background from the app switcher is if you're having issues with the application, it isn't loading properly and something is going wrong. But as you see here, if I load the app store, you see the blank screen, everything is reloading. This is actually taking more memory, more RAM. It's actually taking away more battery. But if I simply close it away, it just freezes the applications on their current state and picks up where they left off. Now there's certain applications that do have fetch data, which means it's constantly tracking in the background, sort of little pockets or data information, sort of like the mail application, to send this data to a push notification server into your iPhone. Now this is just very limited to certain applications, and this is the reason why iPhone has, in most cases, great battery life. It doesn't really need to quit the application in order for it to give you great performance. It just suspends the animation if you will pauses it in the middle and then it reinitiates the process once you go back to the application so if you were ever taught to quit all the applications to get better performance from your iphone that is not necessarily true if you really need to quit the application because the application is giving you issues then by all means do so but if you're all day just going like this and coming back to all your apps and relaunching them again you're actually decreasing the battery life so I just wanted to talk about this because I know that a lot of you guys have always asked, should I quit my applications and why doesn't Apple have a clear all or quit all applications from the background button and the app switcher? And that's the main reason why iPhone doesn't necessarily need it. Hopefully this answers one of the most controversial topics within the app switcher and the multitasking experience on the iPhone. Don't worry, you can leave all your apps open in the background. It's better than having to quit the applications and reloading them. I believe your battery life will improve if you follow these simple steps. Thank you for watching today's video, guys. Hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.